Let's make some breakfast, guys. I'm actually really hungry right now. changing guys yes i'm wearing a north face jacket in my house because i'm actually really cold but i'm not going to the gym no longer at 9 30. i'm actually going to go to my mom's house because my phlebotomist is coming out to the house to draw some blood for my transplant so we're going to do that instead and then maybe i'll go to the gym later tonight in the evening since she's coming i might as well just you know stay have lunch with my family and then come back home and work some more so I just seasoned some salmon so I can make later on tonight either for lunch or for dinner. Probably for dinner since I'll be going to my mom's and you know, there's always food there. Okay, so I want to explain to you guys a little bit how this is going to work. So I got a phone call, I want to say like two weeks ago, from my transplant coordinator telling me that I know where I got my transplant at. Does this new thing where they actually come to you do lab work, um, but they were gonna send me a little box and do lab work. So we're gonna get into that. Um, the phlebotomist is coming. She's gonna draw my blood. Um, so yeah, they sent me the kit. Kinda wanna see. Oh, it comes with the mask. A 3D mask. Non-medical, non-surgical, approved for emergency usage by the FDA. So it comes, I guess I have to wear this when the phlebotomist comes for my safety and for her safety. And it comes with all the all the goods, all the goods in here. Let me show you that. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I'm not looking forward to this. Really not. But you gotta do what you gotta do, right? I mean, it's part of the process, part of being a warrior, a Kenyan warrior. walk over to my mom's house like her new house um, I'm gonna drop something off and then I have to go back home and edit today's video that's gonna go up which was which is going to be yesterday's video so check that out if you guys have it um, yeah we're here at her house you see how quick that is guys this is exactly why I did not eat breakfast at my house and just had a smoothie because I know when I come to my mom's house, there's always food. So I'm eating leftovers from yesterday, steak, lettuce, rice, and some spicy sauce. While Emery's over here eating hot chocolate and pupusas from yesterday. Cookies and milk. Mm. She loves that. So I left my mom's house and I came here to the house and I was working, editing my video to upload, which I did upload, which was really good. Um, but I'm gonna be honest, guys. A lot of times, like as an influencer, we love to share the highlights. We like to share all the good. And in reality, it's not always like that. Life is hard yes it's fun and there's great moments but life is also hard 
and we go through situations in our lives um, to make us stronger, to make us better, yes, but sometimes it's consequences. You know, we good, they're everything, every decision that we make, everything that we do has a consequence. It doesn't matter if it's a good consequence or a bad consequence. And as I was sitting here, you know, editing my video, I was also thinking about other stuff and meditating on other things and like things that are going on in my personal life that I know God is working on and I know God is changing and transforming. And I guess the reason why I wanted to speak and like even bring this up is because I feel like it's important to talk about. I feel like it's important to us, for us to have real conversation, for me to be transparent with you guys, for you guys to interact and not just see the highlights or not just see what is good because in my life there's a lot of things that need molding need fixing um and i strongly believe that the lord in this season of my life is giving me maturity he's giving me maturity he's giving me comfort you know he's giving me peace and he's teaching me how to not codepend on anybody, not to rely on anybody, but to be confident when I am alone. And I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for what God is doing. But sometimes in the process of what God is doing, we like to doubt or not even doubt because I don't doubt what God is doing, but we like to run back to where we feel like it's comfortable. But in reality, it's false comfort. That makes sense because only God is the real healer, the real way maker, the real comforter, the real, the real God, the real Messiah, the one that wraps us in his presence and nothing else matters when we are in the presence of the Lord. And I just want to say to you guys, whatever situation that you are living in your lives, I don't know if it's kidney disease at the moment that you're facing dialysis or you're getting worked up for a transplant or you have issues going on with a family member or a relationship, you know, some relationships are shaky or rocky. I just want to say that the Lord is there. He is in control. Sorry. I want to say that he is in control. And if you just truly... Give him all the weight. Give him all your trials, all your problems, your whole situation. Just surrender it to him. Bring it to his feet. His word says, those who are tired and feeling weak, come to me. And I will give you rest. I will give you peace. So I want to remind you to lay all your trials, lay all your burdens on the Lord, for he will give you rest. He will give you that peace. And it's something that, like, when I speak to you guys, I'm speaking to myself as well. I have to run to God. I have to come and find truth and peace only in Him because He is the only one that gives that enduring, everlasting peace. So yeah, I know this is a little off, like the whole vlogging, but it's important. It's important for us to have these conversations. It's really important for me, for me to see growth in myself, for me to see growth and you guys, you know, I want you guys to grow as well with me, if that makes sense. Grow spiritually, mentally, um, physically, like, you know, with health, with fitness, or with business, whatever it might be. We have to go from glory to glory, like his word says. We can't go back, you know. The enemy wants us to look back, but no, we waste time even, even slightly going and looking back. So... Yeah, let's redeem time. Let's make the best of what the Lord has given us. And let's go all in, you know, let's go on all in trusting in what he is doing in our situations. Um, anyways, <laughs> sorry, I got a little off topic. But like I said, um, it's important. So we're going to head over to my mom's house. Um, I want to help her around with a couple of things. And yeah, we'll go from there because I'm not quite sure um, what else we have to do. So you guys, I just thought of a prank that I can do to my sister. So she has her new BMW right here and I'm gonna tell her, I'm gonna walk in the house and I'm gonna tell her that I actually um, bumped into it, that I like bumped it on my way, like reversing to park. Let's see. Where's Katie? 
Where's Katie? Katie! I hit your your BMW on accident. I wish I was lying. I'm serious. It, it, it's a small little bump though. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. When I was reversing, girl, my car could not reach right there. Oh, that was right here. Got him! I'm <laughs> After going to my mom's, I decided to leave and head over to Shayla's for a little bit of editing. I had a two hour gap in between. So I was like, take advantage of this time, go and edit some things we had to do with Shayla. Then I went back to my mom's house cause we were heading out to Northern Virginia. Girl, I was gonna tell you, you over there trying to be like me with that jacket. My mom got this for me. Don't, don't even lie like that, I'm kidding now. Um, anyway. Isn't this is her new BMW? It's pretty gorgeous. No, I had to delete that vlog because he didn't allow me to post it. So let's play another B roll. <laughs> <laughs> You are so pretty. <laughs> we are here at the mall. We just arrived. What mall is this? Pentagon. Pentagon. By the way, this is Beatrice. And this is, you guys know Katie. <laughs> she said it's so sad. No, no. This is dangerous to come in here, guys. So we are here. What are we gonna get? This is like a soup place. It's all of ours first time. <laughs> so how this restaurant works, do you want to explain it a little? Because yeah, you know of course. So this is a dual pot. So this side is not spicy and this side is spicy. And it's going to come to a boil. There's going to be meat that comes out, vegetables, and you're just going to dump it into the broth of your choice. And you just cook it inside the broth. And then you can take some of the broth, put it in your little bowl here, and have it as a soup, or you can just eat it. Hey, you guys, give this video a thumbs up or comment down below if you guys think she should start a YouTube channel because she just did that so like fluently with no stutters. You know, some people get paranoid like with the camera, but but it just flowed nicely. It's really funny because um, I went camping with Ada, and but there is that is the garlic. Oh, okay. Awesome. Oh, I actually really like that. You should really look into it. Like, okay, teach me the game. Like, Guys, I came to Shayla's house. Uh, my voice is getting. I'm starting to lose my voice. When I don't sleep well, I lose my voice. Same. I'm feeling a little under the weather. Really? Okay, yeah. Hey guys, I'm making these shirts for my family. Everybody's gonna have their name on them. Yeah, they're going to Disney. Yeah. And God willing, I'm going to Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> So it's currently 12.09 a.m. So basically it's midnight. And I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm extremely tired. I made myself some hot tea to go to sleep nice and peacefully and relax. And I woke up this morning at 6.30, so I really need to sleep. And I plan to wake up tomorrow at 8. I'm gonna sleep in a little more. Or actually, I'm gonna wake up at 7.30. Um, so yeah. We're going to sleep. Good night. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next vlog. Bye. I love you guys.